What is up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and as you guys hopefully remember, or if you guys watch my other video, I got a new desk, and I said that that meant more tank setups. Today we're going to set up a tank. We're not going to completely set up, because, well, I, I, I don't know, but this is my 5 gallon tank, the one that used to keep my old blue and black beta. So in there, I want to get it up and running already because I impulse buy the plant and it's dying in my discus tank. You can see that. Yeah. Monte Carlo. So I impulse buy that on in my fish store and I know where to put it. So I put a small piece in Beta's tank. I don't really want it to carpet. Sorry, I put a small piece in Gem's tank because I didn't uh, I didn't want it to carpet. I just want to see what would happen, see if the light's strong enough or something. And so far, it seems to be doing better than that. I don't know if you guys can see that. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know how well you saw that, but there it is. So I want to start set up that tank to do like what was it called? The thing where you put the ceram wrap on top of the tank. I forget what well, well, whatever but I got my soil right here so I'm gonna put it in I washed that it was outside so let me get my soil I don't have that much of it right now but I have a whole bag well a used bag that this came from downstairs hopefully if no one threw it out so let's get to it all right guys so here's my tank and I'm gonna dump the soil in right now hopefully it's Ouch. It, hopefully it's enough, but if it's not, I have more. Alright guys, so that was nowhere near enough and a lot of dust came up. So I'm gonna see if I can find my other bag. Alright guys, so here's my other bag. This is definitely an oh wait, maybe it's not it's really light. But that'll be what I use. Hopefully it's enough. Better be enough. So let's get upstairs and put it in. Alright guys, now I have my bag. I'm gonna put it in. Sorry I'm sniffling because it's really dusty. Alright guys, there's still a tiny bit in here, so I'm just gonna use it all. Alright guys, so I basically have the soil done. I'm not gonna try to, well maybe I'm gonna try to slope it a little bit. But I'm just gonna try to get this up and running. Like, spray it down a bit. And then put the plant in here. Put the Monte Carlo. Alright guys, I sloped it a little bit. Don't really know what aquascape I'm gonna do in here. All I know is that I'm not going to put anything on the front, so I'm going to put the Monte Carlo in the front. But first off, I need to spray it off, so I'm going to go get my sprayer. Alright guys, so I got my sprayer. I'm going to sit down a, a little bit, and then I have to go to something. So I'm going to dismiss this down real quick, and then after I come home, I'm going to put the plant in. So I just got to keep doing this. This is my first time- oh, I think it's immersed. Immersed plant growth? No, wait, no, it's not. I'm stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna just miss this down and then, yeah, put the plant in here and then we're, we'll be done, hopefully. If I'm doing anything wrong for those plant people out there, please let me know. I don't want my plant to die. Six bucks for that thing, so I really don't want it to die. Well, I, and I will have a light on here. It's a pretty strong light. I think it's a light that came with the tank. I'll show you that guys later, but let me just miss this down real Alright guys, so I'm now back home, and I re-wet, I wet the thing again. So I think I'm gonna get the Monte Carlo and put it in, but maybe, I think I should scape it first. Because I have scaping materials, I don't have a lot, because I'm broke. I just went to the forest, my local forest, or something, jungle, I forgot, yeah, forest. So, I just went there, picked up some rocks a long time ago, and they've just been in my backyard since. So, let's go check those out and bring them in the house. And I'm doing this now because my parents aren't home. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is where I keep my scaping material. Right in here. Got a ton of rocks. And this piece of wood I found. That piece of wood I found. And that piece of wood I bought. But all of these are free. Well, the only thing that cost money here was this. Five bucks. 
not really worth it but i'm gonna bring this whole bucket in line the table with some paper towels so it doesn't get dirty so yeah let's bring this inside all right guys so i got all the materials put it in a cardboard box i really 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 want to use this piece of wood because i think it'll look pretty cool in there i don't know never use big materials for such a small tank I don't know, see how it turns out. I'll put you guys on the tripod now and I'll try my best to aquascape it. Now the thing is guys, I can't let this go over the tank because I have a lid that won't allow it. So it's going to be hard. Maybe I won't use this piece of wood. Alright guys, I think, I think I did it. I was trying to go for like a trail look. Wow, I think it looks pretty decent. Let me... Stop the glare. What do you guys think? L tell me in the comments below. I was trying to go for like a trail wide and then narrow down there. Then try to get like jabs or something. I have no idea. I don't know what I was trying to create. I was just going with what I thought looked good. And I think this looks really good. And I have zero rocks left. So I need to go collecting more. I need to go collecting again. I couldn't, I didn't use any wood, but I think this looks amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this down more and then put the Monte Carlo in. Alright, guys, so I added a little bit too much water and now it's starting to puddle. So I'm gonna let it evaporate for a while and then put the plant in. So while I'm waiting, I guess I'll talk about the what I, re I remember now it's a dry start method so basically the benefits of this is basically the plants won't float once you put the plant in and no algae you know it's basically just and plants get a lot of co2 because they're not like in the water so they'll grow faster and maybe i'll wait like six weeks five weeks and then it'll the plant's roots will latch onto the substrate. I pour water in and they will stay on the bottom and it'll be like a full carpet because I'm having Monte Carlo. So, yeah, that's basically it. So now I guess, whoa, almost. So now I guess I'll show you guys my light. I'm thinking about adjusting the light because it doesn't look that nice. So I'll get back to you guys when I find it. My light, as you can see, that's the feeding hole and this is the light so I can actually remove this light I forgot how but I could I really forgot how I did it before but I could and I was thinking about like doing something similar to my uh, discus tank oh uh, there we go I just gotta slide it out so just like this this is the light I'll maybe wash it off so it's stronger I want to get like a thin PVC pipe, cut it in half, put this under the PVC pipe, and just make a little stand for it. So it sits like that. I don't know how I'm going to make a stand for it though. Well, because like, you know, I don't want maybe, because I don't want to put it like on top of it like that. Some, like the discus tank, I want it to be like, like there, boom, boom, like that. So it looks cooler, but I don't really know how to do that. Well, maybe I do, but wait, actually I don't. The ideas are running through my head right now, but I don't really know what to do. So anyway, I'll just keep it like this for now. Let me slide this thing back in. So, oh wait, actually I won't because I need to wash it first. So this is my light. And then all I got to do is the ceram wrap on. As you can see, it puddled and it'll be good to go. Alright guys, so it's been like, I don't know, uh, four days, five days, and I realized I forgot to film the part where I put the Monte Carlo in, but here it is today. It's grown quite a bit, to be honest, just in like four or five days. You can already see it, it's like, you know, like growing, growing to the light. This one is still kind of like recovering sure it'll do fine so i figured out what i wanted to do 
I just wanted to cover this part. That part and that part and try to make it lower so the rocks still show and have nothing over here which is kind of a waste of substrate but I'm a novice or no novice I think so mistakes happen whatever if I were to do it over again I wouldn't put the soil in the middle and put sand in the middle that would have looked so much nicer I think because it's good contrast between the rocks too it's like you know gray and white sand that would have looked cool but this is what I have for now I'll probably give you an update maybe after it's done or something like have a before and after or something but yeah so I can't wait to see how this is gonna turn out uh, so yeah stay tuned and Follow me on Instagram at Future Aquariums. Ouch. And then go to KHC. I guess that's pretty much all I have to say now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.